Okay, part six. So, last time I did a full vid of doing all this and all this, and uh, YouTube wouldn't let me put it up because of my background music or something. I don't know. It's probably going to sting me for this one as well. So, because of that, um, I have to try and make another one and remember what I covered. So, basically, uh, so, with this style, it's all freehand, as you can see, and I'm doing it uh, like graffiti style, so it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's quite simple shading, it's real basic. Um, so, in the video before this, I showed of like how to put outline in, and that was the outline there, of all that. So, for this one I'll show you how to uh, fill in quickly, I've done an outline on here of this, so it's real rough, um, and maybe show you how to do lacing, I showed that in the other video which I filmed, and yeah, couldn't put it up, I'm a pain in the ass, but yeah, so lacings are a real old school technique. And I love using it, especially for filling. So basically, this is how it's going to be. I've got rid of the skull over there. You see, it's a different color paint, but it doesn't matter because that's another thing of airbrushing. Um, you can make cock ups and fill in, and it's not going to make any difference. So, with that, so when you're using black um, to airbrush with black, you want to use a base coat 600. Uh, try and get the darkest. I always use jet black because you won't get any transparencies once you get out in the sunlight It'll always be filled in black. So when you airbrush with black, you might find that it uh, Has massive blow throughs. So it's kind of transparent for the center and etc etc So you'll see that probably on some Airbrush work you'll look and go hey it looks like it's blown through and yeah, that's what it is. It's because it's a cheap black. Uh, so there again, I have the PSI on the compressor cranked up. I use high pressure. Uh, normally you would use 25 to 35 PSI. Uh, so it's real soft. But you airbrush real close. So I don't. I have it cranked right up to the 9s. So it's up there at 80, etc. So, but I'll show you how it works. So, also, when airbrushing, <coughs> excuse me, I have removed the flare cap. So, yeah, I get rid of that. Um, this pony is a bit of a clean. So, that's so you can get good lines. And if you keep using the flare cap, you end up with shit flying on your airbrushing. So, like little specks and stuff. It's because you've always got to take it off and always clean it, take it off, clean it, etc, etc. So, anyway, uh, so this is uh, lacquer still. It's the colour of the paint. I've tinted it with some base coat black. Um, probably, again, heaps of painters will be like, you don't do that. Well, I do it. It doesn't matter. So, let's make it sure it's colours right. And then here we go. So, it's going to be tricky because I'm going to be filming and holding the camera. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so these are my lines and now I'm gonna fill in. So I'm quite far away. And while I'm far while I'm far away is because I use a lot of PSI. Now I'm not pushing very far, I'm only like that and like that. That's down, and only then that's giving me that much paint coming out. So let's put the line in thicker. Now the cool thing about this style is that it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, you get that whole cartoon look. There we 
we go. Probably didn't film that bit, but oh well. You can see right there, see his blow through. That's because we're using lacquer and heaps of PSI. So if your paint's too thin, you can turn that compressor down to, you know, 2530, and it'll be nice and soft, and it'll be perfect. Um, you won't have any, you shouldn't really get that. Now, if you're still getting it with that low pressure, that is because the paint is too thin. Now, to do thin lines, all you gotta do is just push down and back a little bit right there and you should get a thin line. I'll try and do one here even though I don't really need it. See if I'll back off. Yeah, I've found the sweet spot. And then I'll put more air in. So you can get way thinner than that uh, with the pear size down. As I said, I don't really need those lines like that, so I'll thicken mine up. Now I've made this quite thin, so it keeps doing what I said before. Normally you can leave the uh, paint out and the thinners will evaporate. Let's go clean this brush out. Now if you hear that weird noise, uh, when you're ear brushing, like a splattery noise, it's because the end of the cat's dirty. So what you do is you can um, pull the needle right back. Right back normally, see what paint you now. But anyway, you can pull it right back and then just clean the tip of your finger, pull the needle out at the back as well. Oh, and also I've moved the uh, needle cover because you're always going to be pulling that needle out and cleaning it. So, again. So I was just tricking trying to hold the camera and airbrush at the same time. Just so you get the idea of it. 
So I blew through there. So again, because I'm doing it with one hand, I can't actually. I'll clean all that up. I'm shading. Now again, this is all I'm just doing all this airbrushing as a fill in really. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Because what I'm gonna do in the end will make sense why it doesn't have to be so hard out. Definition. Remember, I'm only using one colour for all of this, so I'm not tinting it, I'm not putting white in there or anything. The more you pull back, the more paint's going to come out, obviously, so... I was going to be like, yeah, you need to feel like you're filming. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard on a bonnet. I think my other footage is way better than this, but... Hey, fake YouTube. Hey, six. So yeah, I'll just clean the brush again, check the paint, and we'll come back. Okay, so back. Um... This is probably going to be thicker now, cut it. Because the other paint in there is a little bit arsy, we'll see what happens. Couple more razors outside, revving the little ship boxes. Some shading in here. This dude looking beaten up, so. Another thing is that I'm using one airbrush, I'm not using like multiple airbrushes. Work of what you got. That's what I've always said. So we're turning this down. Not turn it down, but yeah, get some definition. Try some more detail in here. I just found some pictures off the net and changed them a bit. Nothing wrong with using other people's ideas. He's got a big machete coming out of his chest. He's got this straight line. Again, if you're using black, you can get way more detail after uh, thicken your paint up, um, etc. as well.
the shading basically just right back, down and back, and then just blasting it from right up here, you know. So like that. Basically, you know, a bit more detail to him, a little bit more, not hard out. I mean, this ain't. So, this isn't as detailed, crazy like I normally do. It's quite simple, it's effective, and again, once I've finished, it'll all make sense. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I might show you how to do lacing, how to do lacing, sorry, and I might lace some of it down there, uh, around my ugly ass skull, I hate that thing, but lucky the number plate's going to hide all that. Um, but yeah, just quickly trying to show you. So anyway, I'll do this and then I can show you how to lace. I'll set it up. Okay. So, got some lace here. I'm going to show you how to do this. Quickly. So it kind of goes down here. Pain to ask you that, but all right. So I'm gonna have the pressure cranked up still. Sneak it. Because isn't actually that high, it should be higher. Deal with that. So it's lacing. Didn't do a good job on it. It's gonna be quick, but I'm gonna do this. Shadow. So 
probably didn't see that, sorry. That's how that came out. So I'll do crush all my fill in spots with that. It's all lace everything. But yeah, it's, it's a quick rough idea how to do outline work freehand. I'm going to do some stencil work for my sponsor. Their logo is going to go in here somewhere. I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, if you have any questions, um, there's so much I've missed out, but I'm just giving everyone a, a rough idea. How much cool it looks now. You know, basic tips. So again, any questions, leave in the comments. You know, if not, I'm not phased. Just dropping this out. So, drop the next video and I'll be all, hopefully all airbrushed and I'll show you how to stencil. Which is a really good way for beginners. Anyway, cheers. Take care. Be safe. Peace out.